Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in this Build With Me series where every month I'll be walking you through step by step how to build an AWS Mini project. For today's project, we'll be using two AWS services, Amazon S3 and Amazon QuickSight. We'll also be using a data set provided by Bright Data with a list of 50,000 best-selling products on Amazon.com. My goal for this video is to provide you with instructions on how you can use AWS services to create visualizations from large data sets. So if you're someone learning AWS Cloud and want to build your hands-on tech skills, I'd highly recommend following along and pausing the video when you need. Before we get started, please give this video a like and comment below with the phrase, let's build together. Okay, so here's an overview of what we're going to be doing today. We'll start by downloading a data set of 50,000 best-selling Amazon products. Then we'll store it into an Amazon S3 bucket. After that, we'll connect the S3 bucket with Amazon QuickSight to create a few interesting visualizations. Now let's jump straight into it and download the data set. To do this, head over to my GitHub page where I have stored a copy of the data set. You'll need to download this CSV file named amazonbestseller.csv and also this JSON file named manifest.json, which will be used later for QuickSight to access the S3 bucket. So click on each of these and press download. And press Control S to save it into your downloads folder. We're going to do the same thing here for the manifest.json file. So click raw, Control S, and then press save. And you can see now that I have both of these files in my downloads folder. By the way, I want to quickly show you where I got this data from. We're actually using a subset of data from a huge data set that was provided to me by Bright Data. If you haven't heard of Bright Data before, they're a leading data collection company that collects public web data at scale. They have web scraping tools in their IDE, as well as ready to use data sets. The reason we're using Bright Data is because we need a data source. And in my projects, I try to find real life data to keep things interesting. As you can see here, they provided me with 11 gigabytes of data, showing a list of the Amazon bestseller products. And this is pretty cool because normally I would have to manually scrape the data from the amazon.com website and then clean it up before using it. But since they provided us with the data set, we don't have to worry about the web scraping part. So in the future, if you ever need a large set of data, I'd recommend checking out Bright Data and requesting a data set from them. I'll leave a link in the description below with a discount. All right, now that our data set has finished downloading, let's move on to the next step, which is to store it in an Amazon S3 bucket. For this next step, let's head to the AWS Management Console and type in S3. Once you're on the S3 console page, click on Create Bucket. So here I'm going to create a new bucket to store my large data set. I'm going to name it Lucy Amazon Project, but you can name it anything you'd like. Keep the rest of the settings as default and select create. Now click on the bucket you've just created and upload your CSV file. We're going to select our file and then press upload. So as our Amazon bestseller data list is downloading, we'll need to make a small change to our manifest.json file. So open up the file and here you'll see that you have to enter your bucket name. So for my bucket name, it was Lucy Amazon Project. So just remember to change the bucket name section with the name of your own bucket. All right, as you can see here, the Amazon bestseller dataset.csv has been uploaded. But what we have to do now as well is also to upload the manifest.json file. And in this bucket now, you can see we have our two objects. And that's pretty much all we have to do on the S3 side of things. We're now ready to move on to Amazon QuickSight so that we can start visualizing our data. What I recommend doing now is to duplicate this current tab so that you have a copy of your S3 bucket over here. But in this new tab, we're going to type in QuickSight. If you don't have a QuickSight account yet, you'll see this page asking you to sign up for QuickSight. So just click sign up. and you'll be able to start a free trial of the Enterprise Edition. Scroll a bit down to the bottom and press continue. Just make sure you cancel your subscription before 30 days to avoid unnecessary charges. Over here on the account info, I'm going to type in Tech with Lucy as my preferred account name. But again, you can type in any account name you'd like. I'm also going to type in my email address. And as we scroll down a bit, 
make sure you select the S3 bucket that you want to link to QuickSight. So click on your S3 bucket and then finish. Keep the rest of the settings as default and click finish. Give it a couple of minutes for your QuickSight account to be created before we move on to the next step. Nice. Okay, so this took about 30 seconds for me and you can see that I've now signed up for Amazon QuickSight. We're going to click on go to Amazon QuickSight and then you'll see the QuickSight interface. So click on data sets and what we're going to do is import our S3 data set into QuickSight. So click on new data set and then S3. This is where our manifest file comes in handy. So what we have to do is go back to the S3 tab, click on this manifest.json object, and then click copy S3 URL. Go back to the tab, paste in the URL, and this pretty much provides instructions for QuickSight to import the necessary CSV file. I'm just going to type in Amazon data source and then click connect. Okay, and then click visualize. For here, just select the interactive sheet option and give it a few minutes for your data set to finish importing. You can see here that they've already imported the column names. So availability, brand, categories, price, and so on. So now we're ready to start creating our first visualization. I'm going to name this sheet most popular brands. And what I want to do for this visualization is I want to see from this list of 50,000 best-selling Amazon products, which brands are the most popular. So drag the field brand into this graph and you can see that it counts how many times the brand appeared in the data set. I want to sort these brands by ascending order to see which ones are the most popular. To do this, we have to click on brand and then sort options. Make sure you sort by the brand and then for the sort order, click on descending and then press apply. And straight away, QuickSight has sorted these products by the most popular brands to least popular brands. So if we scroll all the way to the top, you'll see that for this data set in particular, standard motor products appears the most in the data set. Remember that this data set is only a subset of the complete data. So this probably isn't actually the most popular product out of all the categories, but in this subset, you'll see that this is the most popular brand. And if we go back to these fields, you can see that you can pretty much try any combination to see comparisons between things like price, the brand, uh, whether it's available or not, the seller ID and so on. So feel free to play around to create your own visualizations. QuickSight actually lets you create a lot of different types of graphs. So you have bar charts, donut charts, uh, pie charts, and uh, even word clouds as well. So yeah, you see here that there's a few different options. Here are some examples of additional visualizations to create. You could compare the prices of different products, analyze the top selling product titles, or even identify which sellers have the most products. This video provides a starting point for you to create your own visualizations. So I definitely encourage you to get creative with the types of graphs and data sets that will be useful for both your business and personal life. And if you end up creating your own visualizations, feel free to share it on social media platforms like LinkedIn and tag me. So in summary, what we did was we downloaded a large data set, uploaded it onto Amazon S3, then created a dashboard using Amazon QuickSight. If you'd like to learn more, Amazon also has their own free QuickSight workshops that provide more advanced tutorials. So feel free to check them out if you're interested. And if you ever need a very large custom data set, remember to check out Bright Data. They're also on the AWS Marketplace and you can ask them to push through the data set there. All right, thanks so much for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I upload my next Build With Me video.